teeth, um, dentists, dental hygienists. I don't like any of that stuff. <laughs> if you are not crazy about going to the dentist, hit like for this video. <laughs> um, anyway. Me again, Davida here. Uh, I'm gonna share with you something from my day. It's noticing a place where I want to be present as a parent, but I'm challenged as an individual. And it's kind of a um, internal struggle between being there for my kid and um, trying to get away from something that's um, unpleasant or intimidating or scary. And it could be you know, anything on the spectrum from like a pet peeve um, uh, to, to some really dark, uh, deep um, pain or a fear that I have um, that um, is totally unconnected to what my kid is experiencing, but there's something that's echoing there and uh, my desire to escape. Um, so this is much lighter than that. My daughter's five and she had like six cavities. You know, they scheduled three different treatments. Uh, the first one, uh, my husband went with her. I, I should mention that my husband's a doctor and um, for the whole week before that visit, um, he had been um, sort of going over with her what to expect. So it was like, and it was a big game. So like she'd come up on his lap and he'd be like, okay, you can get up on the big chair and it's gonna go, it's gonna go back. And uh, you know, they're gonna, the dentist is gonna be like, open up your mouth and you're gonna go, ah. <laughs> and she thought it was just hysterical, but um, it, it was great because when she got up on that chair, you know, she just like opened up and she was like totally game for everything and she knew what to expect. And okay, that might, you know, might pinch a little bit, but then you won't feel anything. And like, um, it was really great prep. They came home, they had had a great time. She'd gotten a, chosen a toy at Toys R Us. Um, uh, you know, they were going on about how amazing she'd been and how the dentist was like, oh, I wish all kids were like you. For the second uh, session, um, I was the parent with her and um, it was challenging for me. Um, I didn't want to pass over my, um, I guess my phobias or my anxiety uh, to her. So I, I sat at the, at the end of the, of the bed uh, where she was lying, that chair, you know, that goes, turns into a bed, I guess. And um, um, I, I held her feet. So um, I was talking to her about how brave she was and how she was doing a great job. And um, what I was really focusing on was trying not to abandon her. Um, I, I, I don't think it would have been terrible for her. She was doing great, um, but I wouldn't have felt good about it. And I'm sure she would have picked up on it, you know, if I was you know, there physically, but not being with her. So I was, um, you know, saying, hey, Cleo, you're doing so amazing. You're doing great. Um, oh, I see she's finished on that tooth. She's going to the next tooth. You're doing amazing. Um, and I was, I, I was averting my eyes. Um, she couldn't see where I was looking anyway. Like, I felt like um, in my heart, I was just in the struggle of like trying to stay there and not um, disappear, not look at my phone, not go, not really just go somewhere else. Let me know what experience brings that up for you. <laughs> I do feel gross. <laughs> okay, that's it for tonight. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again.